Hey there, it's Bobby, aka Paginator. I'm here today with a silver streak in my hair to do a, a double unboxing for you. We have Cal L and Enchanted Fandom. Cal L, I'm trying out for a three month period to see how I like it or not, and Enchanted Fandom, I'm just doing a one off again to see if I like it. I've had to have a long talk with myself about how I still have to finish paying off my surgery from this summer on my foot and a few other things and I have to be a grown up and I have to do less subscription boxes so I'm trying. I'm trying. Alright, but that doesn't matter today because we have two boxes to open. So, let's start with Cal L and we're just going to dig right in. Okay, so there is a suspicious looking note in the top of this and okay uh, oh there was a small delay with the Kalo boxes so this is to apologize for um, it that being late and it says October's box should pr should arrive on time etc um, it says you also might be wondering where our pink boxes are our box printing company had a huge issue with their equipment which delayed my shipment of boxes and they are scheduled to arrive on the 19th. So yeah, that's why we have a brown box this month instead of a pink one. And that's not under their control so I'm not going to complain about that. Alright, so that's just apologizing and thanking people for their patience which is so nice that people take the time to do that when they run subscription services. Sometimes the companies just up and quit like Page Habit. I'll say it, I'm going to rant here for a second. I was so excited for Page Habit because they donate books to uh, lit literacy charities and I thought this was going to be awesome so I signed up for the young adult book. And I got the June box which I loved and then when I got the July box I thought okay this is interesting it doesn't seem like a YA book but I'll go with it. Little did I know they had sent me the adult box for the month of June because who knows what happened with their July box which was supposedly is going to be curated by Natasha from Toshopolis. And, uh, they haven't been replying to people's emails and I don't know what all happened but when I checked their website it said that their company is basically shut down and will not be doing any more services so who knows what happened nice of them to send an individual email to all their subscribers right I say dripping with sarcasm alright rant is over time to get back to Kal-El okay so the first thing I see is a print and we have oh turning it this way. It is The Incredibles. I haven't seen the new movie yet. Okay, it goes this way, I think. And I've heard that it's awesome. And I'm super excited to see there's a spoilers on the back, so I'm not going to read that. I'm just going to set that off to the side. Here we have another Incredibles print. And it's got Jack-Jack in there, which is fun. He is super cute. One of my students loves Jack-Jack so much that she said today that she would marry him. So I'll have to show that to her and say, you can't have it. Too bad. Here we have a badge, and this is the mom. I forget her name um, right off the top of my head, but yeah. Elastigirl, is that her superhero name? Yeah. All right, the rest of the items are wrapped in this tissue paper, so I'm going to set the box down for a minute. And bear with me while we've got tissue paper noise. Oh, and I'm dropping things already. <laughs> I dropped a pouch of stuff here. All right. We've got two little pouches, and then we've, oh, we've got quite a large item here. We have a drawstring bag. I'll hold it up for you. I never look back, darling. It distracts me from the now. Oh, what's this character's name? I haven't watched Incredibles in ages. She's the awesome, like, costume mistress person that's a little and sassy, right? That's really fun to have a bag like that. You can never have too many bags. It's just like the rule of of uh, life, I guess. All right, up next we have a magnet, and this has the daughter's name on it. And I'm so sorry that I'm forgetting most of the characters' names right now because it's Tuesday as I sit here filming this, but it's been such a Monday. My brain's gone. All right. Next we have some fingernail stickers with all of the characters on them and the Incredibles logo and a thing that says no capes. And then there's also one that matches the quote on the bag. And this comes from fangirlpolish.com. I'll hold up their card right there so you can 
check out their website if you are interested in getting some stickers. <gasps> oh my goodness. And they put a little tiny sampler in there. It's Harry Potter. We've got the HP and the nine and three quarters things. Aww. If you don't know already, I love Harry Potter. Of course, if you watch this channel for even about two minutes, you know that. All right. Now we've got the black pouch, and we'll start with the earrings. We have the Incredibles logo. I am so wearing these to school tomorrow. And my one student is going to freak out and try to steal these things from me, but she cannot. All right. So this next item I'm going to pull out of the plastic because I want you to be able to fully see it. This is a set of bracelets. We've got the leather bracelets, and then we've got this quote here, and I know it's not going to be able to zoom in super great. It says, your identity is your most valuable possession. Protect it. And that is a quote from Elastigirl. That is very cute. I do enjoy a good set of bracelets that go together. They're fun. All right, and last but not least, we have an Incredibles logo necklace. So you've got the whole set of jewelry going on and you can even do your fingernails to match. Very fun. All right, so that is it for the Kal-El box. I think my favorite thing in there is the bracelet set just because I tend to wear bracelets more than other types of jewelry, but um, yeah, there we go. All right, so here is the Enchanted Fandom box and I think I saw on the website that the theme is Sing Me a Song. Alright, so... What is this? A million dreams for the world we're gonna make. Oh! Oh my goodness! The Greatest Showman! I love that movie so much. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Maybe it's not just The Greatest Showman, though, because I'm looking in here and seeing other things. Oh, this is funny. We have a recipe card, Great Balls of Fire, and it has a number nine on it, so I'm wondering if this is something that Enchant Enchanted Fandom does is send a recipe every time. So this is, like, for a meatball dish. That's funny. All right. Yeah, this has got to be multiple musical kind of things because our next item is a Hamilton pin. I have never seen Hamilton. I yeah, I just haven't because I can't afford to go to New York and when it came to Salt Lake, I was too dumb to go buy a ticket. So there we go. Now we have a candle that says, you will be found inner peace. From Dear Evan Hansen. That's another one that I have not seen, and I'm trying to one handedly open the candle so I can smell it. Ooh. Alright, I'll show you. There's some glitter there in the top. It's a turquoisey kind of color, and that smell is delicious. It's a citrusy kind of smell, but not, but also like not. Totally such I, I can't explain today. I am so sorry. It just it smells good. That's that's what I'm gonna say. Alright, so then we have this little package here. And we shall see what's inside. It says Alyssa J Alyssa F designs, I think. Come out, come out wherever you are. It's keychain. It's keychain. All right. Let's see if I can turn that. So there's a little masquerade mask. And there's a rose. Let's see if I can turn it so you can... Oh, okay. Hang on. There is a... You know, what makes today even more frustrating is not just the brain struggles I'm having right now, but the knowledge that I have to go grade a stack of 60-something essays when I'm done with this video. Alright, I finally got the rose situated for you, so you can see that there. So this has got to be Phantom of the Opera. Oh, 
I love that musical. All right, we've got some crinkle crap I need to get out of the way. And we have another candle. And this is a Sound of Music inspired candle. And it's, uh, it's from Dio or Dio Candle Company. And uh, I can't tell what the fragrance is supposed to be, so we'll just have to smell it. Ooh. This smells very cottony and like clean laundry. I really, 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 really like that. Delicious. Okay. We have a little tin here. It says, City of Stars, are you shining just for me? What's that one from? Is it? I don't know. I sincerely apologize for my brain not working today. Okay, is this a magnetic bookmark? I am going to be so freaking happy if it is. Come out of the package. It is a magnetic bookmark, and it is from The Greatest Showman. It is P.T. Barnum, and it's a good large size. I like that. A lot of the tiny, uh, or the magnetic bookmarks are teeny, teeny, tiny, and I like this good size. This is from DrawnToThePages.com. Very nice. There's quite a few things in here. Oh. Okay, so there's a CD in here. I was trying to figure out what this little card is. And if you don't have the ability to play a CD, there's information on how to get this. But this is a Best of Broadway um, CD. And we've got... Edelweiss from The Sound of Music, For Good from Wicked, one of my very favorite songs from musicals, um, Les Mis Medley from Les Mis, Cha Cha and Somewhere from West Side Story, Rewrite the Stars from The Greatest Showman, You'll Be Back from Hamilton, and Think of Me from Phantom of the Opera. Cool. Alright, up next we've got some lip balm, and it's pink and it's got pink ladies on it. We've got Jan and Frenchie and Rizzo, and... What's the other girl's name that flirts with the TV show host? Marty. Yeah, we've got, not Sandy, but all of the other pink ladies from Greece. That's very fun. All right, we've got a couple more items left, and we've got this pin that's from Mamma Mia. I have seen the production of Mamma Mia when it came to Salt Lake City, and it was very fun. And it was like at the end, they just have a big old dance party, and people stand up in the aisles and dance, and it's just all kinds of fun. Up next, we have an item from Wicked, which is such a wonderful musical. I got to see a, a Broadway Across America production of that one, and we have a necklace here with the classic Galinda or Glinda and Elphaba on them. And it looks like this is our last item here. We have a little pouch thing with musical notes and it snaps closed. And then there's a pocket on the front as well. So I'm not sure what you're meant to use this for. And because my brain hurts, I'm not going to dig through my stuff and see if there's a card that tells me because it's just time for a nap. Maybe I'll just not grade paper, so at least not for a while. <sighs> yeah, so there we go. I think my favorite item in that one, I think is the Sound of Music candle because I love candles that smell like clean laundry. It's such a joy for me. Either that or the Wicked necklace because I really love Wicked. We'll have to give this CD a try and see if it's going to be good music or one of those where you go, <sighs> Anyway, <laughs> enough with this ridiculous video. I do once again apologize that my brain is not focused today. Hopefully by the time my owl crate and my bookish box come, I will be much better off and able to describe things. But for now, I hope you have a wonderful and bookish day. Happy reading. Adios.